My name is Inej Ribeiro, I'm 17 years old, and I live in this little country in the west of Europe. You may have heard about us because of Cristiano Ronaldo, Sara Sampaio, Antonio Guterres, or simply because our worst year was reported worldwide. Because you know, 2017 was a really problematic year for us. We had two forest fires where more than 100 people died. June and October, a hurricane of flames. The houses burned, the animals died, and promises were made. But I want to focus on June's fire. It was in Pedro Grande, and here we will be able to discuss three important topics about sustainable development social, environmental, and economical. The fire lasted for days. 64 people died, one of them a firefighter, and more than 200 were injured. 14 companies were affected, and 372 jobs were nearly destroyed. Gartwe Oldenburg from the Netherlands Weather Forecast Institute admitted that we can find strong and clear bonds between the high temperatures of June and global warming. Because you know, here in Portugal we have two months of wildfire season, July and August, but with climate change, that time extended up to five months, June to October. And even though my country doesn't have a huge impact on global warming, the Iberian Peninsula is experiencing it more severely than other regions. We are now currently facing a particular meteorological situation. It is much hotter and much drier. And each time you gain degrees, you increase the risk and intensity of fires. And all the things I've been telling you are examples of a not so good sustainable development. And I'm not proud of it. All the promises of hate to the people affected have not yet been fulfilled and are far from it. But getting back to the main question of this video, what does sustainable development mean to me? For me, it's when we can put all of our daily life aspects on a scale and verify that they all have the same weight. It's when we can turn something bad into something that it's not so bad and gain qualities and learn from it. Because you know, in the case of my country, the catastrophe that occurred should have made people really aware because television news will not tell anything if the problem will eventually be forgotten. It's not enough to say that people were left without a roof to live on. It is not enough to say that foreign smoke stays is necessary. It is not enough to say that they will help. Because you know, in order to achieve a good sustainable development, Portugal has to learn that talking is not enough. Actions are needed. We need more environmental prevention. We need more awareness raising. We need more actions and fewer words. And this was one of the reasons I joined the contest. So that, can pe so that people can hear me. So that the government can understand that it's not enough to send a piece of paper where they say they will be able to change and then everything remains the same. Because it's really, really beautiful to say that we are part of something that goes according to sustainable development. But for me, it is even more beautiful when we see, in reality, that there are people doing everything they can to make it happen. I'm one of them. And I hope you too. Obrigada.